Hello my beautiful MK Love fam. Welcome back to another episode of Weekly Angel Guidance. If you're new here, my name is Melanie K Love. I make videos every Monday at 7 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, helping you to deal with the energies associated with the week ahead. Now, speaking of the week ahead, this week we're focusing on February the 18th to the 24th. Now, during this week, we're actually going through three phases of the moon. We're starting out in the gibbous moon. This is when we're trusting that everything is working out for our highest good. Then we have the full moon in one degree of Virgo. So check the screen right now to see what time this affects you. So um, if you're in LA, this is on the 19th of Feb at 7.53 a.m. New York, this is 10.53 a.m. London, 3.53 p.m. New Delhi, this is 9.23 p.m. And then if you're in Brisbane, this is 1.53 a.m. and Auckland, 4.53 a.m. So during a full moon, this is the perfect time to release anything or anyone that no longer serves your highest good. So this is a really powerful time. If you need help as to what do you even do on a full moon, check out the card that's linked below and I'll show you, I've got a three minute video to show you exactly what that actually looks like. So that could totally help you out. Then on Saturday and Sunday, we move into the disseminating moon. This is a time to receive expected and unexpected abundance. So that's, it's a really beautiful time powerful time for releasing blockages and receiving so much beautiful abundance and knowing that everything is working out for you because you've surrendered to the process and you're now setting yourself free. So this week, it's a general reading as always. <laughs> so if you're new, just take from these, the cards that I pull, what feels best for you. Maybe it's one card, maybe it's all of them. It just really depends. And this is a general reading, okay? So I'm gonna be reading for Monday through to Sunday. Yes, I am basing this on Australian Standard East, Eastern Standard Time. Um, but if you, this is read collectively for Monday for the MKL fam. So you don't have to get too nitty gritty. Just find out what cards make sense to you and allow that to guide you for the week ahead instead of being like, Monday, Mel said this needs to happen. Um, yeah. Oh, also announcement, da, 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 da. Um, if you would love to book in for one-on-one -on -one online coaching, my applications are now open again. So this is gonna be round two for my online coaching program. So if you would love to learn how to heal your childhood trauma so you can feel unconditional inner freedom every single day and with certainty, like that's literally waking up going, I'm so happy and grateful to be alive and allowing yourself to manifest whatever you want, like literally manifest your dream life because you can't get to that stage of manifesting if you haven't cleaned up your vibration and healed the past because there's always gonna be something that's going to be carried through. So if you're at the stage where you're like, I am willing to heal, I am ready to invest into myself, please check out my free exclusive training because I have a 20 minute video talking you through exactly how I have healed and how you can get that same level of healing as well. After the video, once you have watched that, then you will have an opportunity, if you feel that it's an energetic match, to book in for a free one-on-one -on -one online session with me. It's a strategy session so I can work out where are you on your journey and where exactly do you want to be and to see if I can actually help you and if we're an energetic match to work together. I'm manifesting dream clients. I'm looking for people who have done everything within their power to heal, but they're like, I don't know what else to do. These are people who are willing to do whatever it takes. This is an intensive, highly intensive eight week program. It's not glamorous. Healing is not always pretty, but it's necessary to get you to exactly where you need to be. So if you feel like that's truly in alignment with you, please check out my free exclusive training and then book a session because I would love to hear from you. And please be quick because I only take on four dream clients, only four dream clients. So I like to give my clients the most intensive help possible. And at this stage, it's four clients. So if you wanna be a part of the MKL coaching fam, then yeah, check out that link. Anyways, I've said enough about that. <laughs> Let's get on to Monday, so shall we? All right, Monday is a trusting phase. Let's see what we need to know. 
one card angels please for my mkl fam third oh nope they said two oh thank goodness okay let me just tell you a quick little story I started filming this about three times and it didn't work. My memory card was like, it's full, it's full. I'm like, I just cleared it, what is happening? And we got the same cards again, they're just in a different order. Oh, or is this from last week? Oh, one of them, hold on. No, these are both from last week. Check this out. Okay, so on Monday we have the Knight of Swords, which is moving through conflict and you're moving at such a speed and force that you're deflecting and you're not allowing any negativity to penetrate into your subconscious. Whew. And then we also have the Hierophant, which is the giver of wisdom, knowledge, power, deep-rooted knowledge. This is stability. This is fun. This could literally be, because we've been talking about working with coaches, speaking of coaches, um, or mentors or tutors or teachers. It's just someone to help get you to the level in which you need to. Either you're the teacher or you're seeking out somebody to help you. Whatever it is, you're bypassing the conflict because you're like, no, it's like, don't stop me now because I'm having a good time. It's like you're an unstoppable force. And you're an unstoppable force Either you're an unstoppable force to get this knowledge or you're an unstoppable force to deliver this message. But this is in the trusting phase. How does that fit in? You're trusting that you're going to get to where you want to. You know that this is what you, it's like stepping stones. You're taking these stepping stones to, to take you where you need to. Can you do this by yourself? If you can, fabulous. If you can't, then you need to ask for help because last week, I think on Monday, we had the three of pentacles, which is like finding your soul tribe, finding people that are non-judgmental and can support you and lift you up. You raise me up so I can walk on mountains. You raise me up to walk on stormy sea. I am strong when I am on your shoulder. You raise me up. Do more than I can be. Whoa, that could even be family too. This could be family. The Hierophant could be your family. They raised you up. They did the very best they could with the knowledge and understanding that they had at the time. If they knew how to raise you trauma-free, they would, you know? Hurt people hurt people. People don't um, aren't mean. People who are mean to you are doing it because they don't love themselves. They don't know a different way. I want to break free. I'm getting break free and you raise me up. You raise me up. It's breaking free from the conditions of which you have been told you need to live your life. Whoa, and trusting the direction in which you're going is in alignment with your true authentic self. Whoa, okay, now I understand what Monday is. Let's move on to Tuesday, shall we? Oh, by the way, have you been following me over on Instagram story? Do you know where I am in the world? Because where I'm filming isn't where I am right now. All right, Tuesday. Give us moon. Trust it. We're trusting the process as everything is always working out for us. No matter how it looks, your angels have it all figured out. Did you see that? This one spun and then this one came up. So I'm paranoid my microphone's gonna fall through because it's attached to my shirt because my shirt's, well, I'm wearing a beautiful dress, but you can't see it. Um, and I had to tape it inside my shirt and I just feel like the sticky tape just moved. So, ah, fingers crossed, I'm trusting them that I can get through this video. Oh, whoa, dude, the King of Cups. This is emotional freedom, emotional stability. Oh my gosh, so you're trusting that you're going to find this emotional stability, this unconditional inner freedom. That's what I've been talking about in my coaching program. How do you find that level? You heal. You say thank you, thank you, thank you to the people that raised you up. And now you're going in the direction of your highest good. You took what you needed from this chapter to help get you to where you are. And now you're on a mission to be like, don't stop me now, to where you need to go. Okay, so the King of Cups, did we have any cups last week? Yeah. No. No, 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 no. No, we didn't. Oh, okay. The King of Cups is very generous, very loyal, very loving, very grounded. He's very much a giver. 
And he's like, how can I help other people? So now that you've got to this level of unconditional inner freedom, how are you helping other people? You know, are you helping your best friend with something? Are you helping your mom? Are you helping your clients if this is your business? I just looked at the clock and it said 11, 11. So this is a new chapter. And then I saw the nine of swords. So that's like, don't look back in anger, I heard you say. It's like you got to the king of cups. So you trusted that you were going to get to this place and you knew that you had to be, you had to go through the pain. See the, the marks on the chest. You had to go through that pain because that pain has been part of your story, but it doesn't define who you are. You know, I had to go through my own childhood traumas so I could then get into a four year toxic relationship and be like, I don't want to live my life like this. And then that's when I started healing. And my journey took me, I don't know really how long, I think seven to 10 years. I don't know. The journey always, it doesn't stop, you know? And that, and that is a blessing. The pain is a blessing. It's like a swan with like white feathers and brown feathers, you know? Do you just look at the white feathers or do you look at the swan as a whole and go, you're so beautiful. Like, that's like also looking at somebody's face and seeing like the crow's, what do you call it, crow's feet? The marks around the eyes and you don't feel like, oh, I love your whole face, but what the heck is that? You know, you look at the person as a whole and you can see their story of where they have been on their face. Where they have been has helped led them to where they are today. When you say, I'm so happy and grateful I went through that because it's taught me to find self-love and how important it is to truly love yourself, flaws and all, and how it is so important to forgive yourself and anybody else who has done you wrong. The moment you forgive, you choose your thoughts from a place of love instead of fear. And when you choose your thoughts from a place of love, you set yourself free. You vibrate on the frequency of love. It's interesting that, that the, the nine of swords is coming up before the full moon. So let's see what we need to know for Wednesday for the full moon. I'm getting a lot of heart pain as soon as I said that. Okay, Wednesday. Okay, we've got the five of wands. Did we have that? Yeah, we had that Sunday last week. So this is the conflict. This is moving through the conflict. As you up level, people may, you may be reflecting or mirroring to other people. You may be mirroring to other people things that they don't have and maybe they don't people don't really like it when you change they see it as a personal attack like it happens every time i up level from when i became vegan to when i first started my business my youtube channel and my coaching program people don't like when you change because they're like but i'm still doing the same thing it's like if you love what you do then you have nothing to worry about but most people don't love what they're doing some people don't love the relationships that they're in, the people that they spend time with. You have, I'm just saying like, you're on a mission and one's is a mission towards your passion projects. You're on a mission towards your passion projects because that makes you feel amazing. And then I heard, come alive. Dun, 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 bow, bow. Come alive from the greatest showman. Ooh. Okay. Let's see what we need to know for Thursday. My neighbor's walking past going, why is she talking? Why is she crazy? Why has she got a big light on the camera? Hi. There's new neighbors next door. Whoa. Okay. Wow. Whoa, 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 wow. And then I heard wipe out, wipe out, wipe out. We have the justice card. The justice is karmic patterns. Old negative karma is gone. This is balance. This is, it's like the balance has been restored. This could be a divine intervention. This could be you finding the balance has come, has come up for like two months, let's be real. It's come up since the start of the year. And this is a time where you're literally finding your balance through releasing that pain, making peace with people or situations or things that don't serve you in this new fabulous new chapter that you're creating in 2019. The balance is coming and this is like there's so many butterflies so this is like a transformation. We've got the moon behind you so the moon is guiding you to where you need to be. It's 
it's very grounded too because she's standing on this beautiful tree but the tree is like wrapping around her she's divinely protected she's divinely supported in this new chapter so what does that actually look like for you all right let's see what we need to know for friday so the full moon is moving through conflict or contrast as it comes up in this new passion projects that you're working in and as you're moving through the conflict you're restoring it because maybe before you used to be like bah! when someone says something to you and now you're like sometimes you just you don't even need to say anything whereas before you'd turn into like an attack dog it just really depends because this is general what does this mean for you so let's see what we need to know for friday for the full moon in first degree of Virgo. What do we need to know for the full moon? Oh, the cards feel weird, they feel weird. Whoa. Oh, shoot, we got the star. <laughs> wow, so this is like the direction of your highest good. This is the universe guiding you to exactly where you need to. And that is also a major arcana. This is now the third major arcana. We had the Hierophant, which is the, the giver of knowledge. We've got the Justice, and now we have the Star. So once the Justice has been restored, it's like, I can see clearly now the rain has gone. It's gonna be a bright, 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 sunshiny day. Well, the sun, the sun's gonna come out because you're following the star to guide you through the darkness. And once you continue on that right path, then that's when you'll be able to see the, the light. And I keep hearing, come alive. When the world is breaking, cause you're dreaming with your eyes wide open. So come alive. Okay, let me just have a look at the lyrics. I'm alive, greatest showman. When the world becomes your fantasy and you're more than you've ever seen because you're dreaming with your eyes wide open and you know that you can't go back again to the world that you've been living in because you're dreaming with your eyes open. Oh my God, I love that song. Um, you stumble through your days, got your head hung low, the sky's a shade of gray. Zombies in the maze, your sleep inside that you can shake away. Cause you dream but damn it walking. Okay, check out that song, The Greatest Showman. Come alive, because that's what I'm feeling. Like you're coming alive now that this balance has been restored in this new fabulous you that you're creating. Holy flip, that is a that is a big deal. You're coming alive because you have cleared the slate. You're moving past contrast. And you just feel free because you, you've released your blockages, you've released your pain. If you need help and any guidance at all on what you actually need to do or what, uh, not really what you need to do, but some inspiration to help you along your journey, please check out my full moon ritual. I'll link it on the end card. So I'm getting distracted by these people. people next door neighbors are digging a pool and there's like contractors everywhere. Okay, so, when did, so let's have a look at Saturday and Sunday now. All right, Saturday is a disseminating moon. This is receiving expected and unexpected abundance. Well, there it is. Ooh, okay, so we have the Ace of Pentacles. What are you expecting? You're, well, because you've had the karma, like the, the slate cleared off, like a fresh start, you're experiencing this new level of abundance. So this is things that you haven't experienced yet. I just haven't met you yet. It's from Michael Bublé. New abundance. How does this new abundance look like in your life? Now that you are moving through contrast, the balance has been restored and you're following your intuition. You're allowing the stars in the night sky. Uh, I heard another song from The Greatest Showman. What is that? Stars I heard in the night sky. What is that song? Night sky. I'm, I'm hearing a song. Oh. That says never enough. That's a negative song. For me. For me. For me. All 
the stars and the thousand spotlights All the stars we steal from the night sky Will never be enough Never be enough Towers of gold and still too little These hands can hold the world but it'll never be I always change the word saying I am enough I never say because that's a negative song Why did I hear that? What was the actual words? All, all the shine of a thousand spotlights, all the stars we steal from the night sky. I don't know, I don't like that song. It's negative. Why am I hearing that song? Never be enough. Maybe because of the ace of the wand, it's like it's, it's not enough of where you want to go, but it's a stepping stone of where you need to be. Let's get clarity, I don't like that card. Like it's a good card, but I don't like the song that came with it. So, and now my nose feels funny. Um, can we have Clarity Angels on the Ace of Pentacles for the Disseminating Moon for Saturday? Like, what exactly do you mean for that? Oh, there's two cards. I'm just going to pull the first one. Oh, okay. Okay, so it's definitely a beginning because we've got the Fool and the Fool is the very, very beginning. It's interesting that, because there's 22 major arcanas and once you get to the end, it resets. So this is a reset. The Ace of Pentacles is a reset, but then you've got the Four of Cups, which is where I'm getting like this dreary kind of energy from. And it's like, it's like waiting on the world to change. It's like, you're getting impatient. It's like, stop getting impatient. You have come so far. It's like, I feel like you may be a little bit disheartened as to what comes, but you're not looking at it from a perspective of love and that sometimes in the receiving phase of the moon, you're just planting seeds. Don't expect to reap a full harvest in a month. You know, it takes time. It can even take a year to harvest whatever you're working on. You know, like there's lots of work that needs to happen. Four of cups. It's like, when will my reflection show? Who I am inside. It will come the moment you believe in yourself. Come alive. And now I'm hearing come alive again from the greatest showman. Push it dreaming with your eyes wide open. Yeah, you need to dream with your eyes wide open, which means visualizing what you want. Use your mind, because your mind can't tell the difference between what's reality and, and what's a visualization. So use that to your advantage on Saturday. This is a really, really powerful time to watch my video, 10 hottest tips on how to manifest anything. In particular, the visualization, actually I've got a whole video, I think I've got two videos on visualization. And it's dreaming with your eyes wide open in the fact that like you could be in a deep meditation but you're visualizing your dream life. What does it look like? How does it look like when you're healed and you have that unconditional inner freedom? You know, when you have healed the pain or whatever is holding you back, you know? Why do you feel like you're not good enough? Like, never, never, never enough. Why don't you feel like you are enough? Because you, you're you not seeing things the way that the universe sees you. You're seeing it through like these these yucky glasses, but it's like, done. just clean the lenses, you know, clean the lenses. Look at yourself in the mirror and say, I am incredible. I am so happy and grateful now that I am forever conscious of my true worth. I give my talents with love and I'm wonderfully blessed financially. I am so happy and grateful. This is abundance, so this could be finances too. I am so happy happy and grateful now that avalanches of abundance flows easily effortlessly and on a continuous basis. It's like, don't give up on yourself just because you're not seeing what you need to straight away. Don't lose hope. And the people that do lose hope, they don't want it bad enough. You have to, remember we spoke about a couple of weeks ago, like, what is your why? Why are you actually doing this? Don't give up at the first sign of a hurdle. You know, business and life is all about putting out one fire after another. There's always something that's going to come up. That's life. You have to go with the flow. Choose the path of least resistance. The least resistance is when you choose to make all your decisions from a place of love. All right, Sunday. I think I need, that's all I need to say. Hey, was there another card flipped over? My eyes playing tricks on me. Yep. 
Um, um, Sunday, please. Disseminating Moon. Receive abundance from expected and unexpected sources. Oh my gosh, the Queen of Wands! The Queen! Dun, 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 dun. The Queen of Wands is a very powerful... She's the leading lady of her life, but she plays to the beat of her own drum, you know? She has said what she's going to do. She's told people what she's wanting to do and she's actually followed through with it. And people are like, oh my God, did you hear about such and such and everything she manifested? Like, oh my God. It's like, yeah, you can do that too. She's no different from you, you know? She's just put in the work. So this is like, you need, you have put in the work. Hmm. How does that fit on with Saturday? Because that's like you're not feeling like you're enough, but it's like you're putting in the work and you have got to such a high level. There are people that are looking up to you to be like, oh my gosh, I would love to do that. It's like, well, you can. You just have to plan out what's your intention. Then you have to plan how you're going to do that. Then take action. Then trust. Then release your blockages. Then receive the abundance and breathe with these and then take time off social media and then repeat it all again. That is the phases of the moon that we work with every single week. And you have gotten to a stage. This is, oh gosh, this is, uh, this has been hard for you to get to. I'm feeling pain. This is, this is coming from a place of love. You've released your pain and you're speaking your truth. Speaking words of wisdom, let it be. And she's playing the harp too. And she's using what she has around her. She's using what is around her and, and working with the environment instead of against it. However that looks like for you. Um, let me give a focus card. I don't feel like <sighs> set, like settled for this week. Angels, can we have one focus card to summarize this week? So this is February the 18th to the 24th. Just one card, please. Thank you very much. Ooh, okay, so the two of one. So this is the strength. This is this inner strength that you have. And it's like, you're sitting on the top, like surveying the land and also like, uh, and then I heard climb from Miley Cyrus. It's only gonna um, be an uphill battle. Sometimes you're gonna have to lose. Ain't no bad how fast I get there. Da -da -da -da. On the other side, uh -huh. climb Miley. What are the lyrics for that? So this week is all about the climb. There's always going to be another mountain. I'm always going to want to make it move. Always going to be an uphill battle. Sometimes, no, it's not always. It's bad self-talk. Sometimes I'm going to have to lose. Yeah. Failure is a good thing. Um, it ain't about how fast I get there. Yeah, Saturday. It ain't about how fast you get there, guys. My gosh. Um, so I definitely feel like this one is about like enjoying the journey enjoying the journey if you don't enjoy where you are right now you why do you think it's going to be any different when you reach your dreams like there's there's some lyrics from tori kelly she has a song called confetti um tori kelly and there's some lyrics in there that i want to read out to you and by the way tori is like the most beautiful soul ever um, people seem to think they'll be happier once they reach the top. You'll have it all, but I'm living right. I'm living for right now. Cause what if tomorrow never comes? I'm not waiting. I'm not waiting for the confetti to fall. So I kind of feel like this is what this week is all about. It's like, you have to enjoy the process of where you're at. You know, if you're not enjoying it, then you're not going to enjoy what is to come. And when you have gratitude, like the vibration of gratitude, and love is already at the top of the emotional guidance scale. If you're creating things or you're doing things from a place of like fear and depression, it's going to take you so long and it's going to be a hard slog. You know, I'm not saying it's not going to be hard work because it is to get to wherever you want to go. Um, um, 
I'm gonna keep myself in check sometime Cause I tend to dream real big sometimes Fancy outfits and sparkly awards My name's a lot of people line up at the door But I gotta remember Take it one step at a time People seem to think You'll be happier Once you reach the top You'll have it all But I'm living for right now Cause what if tomorrow never comes I'm not waiting I'm not waiting for the confetti to fall. I think that song, I feel like confetti and the climb from Miley Cyrus is the same kind of message. I feel like you have a better understanding now what I feel like I do about what this whole week is about. So let's just go back and just check the faces of the moon. So we were trusting. So we're trusting the process. We're releasing our pain. And we know that that is a part of what we need to do. It isn't a step back, you know. It is what you need to do to prepare your vibrations to take you forth to where you want to be. And then the receiving phase is it takes time to receive all of the abundance, but you can see signs of it. It doesn't necessarily mean like the new dream body that you've been looking for just appears, you know, it takes time. The seeds that you're planting is the workouts that you do every single day when you wake up at 4.30 to start your walking by five, you know? What does that look like for you? You're not gonna wait for the confetti to fall because what if it doesn't come? You have to enjoy the process, enjoy where you're at. I think that's the message for this week, my loves. If you love this video, please give me a thumbs up because it totally helps out the channel and comment below what was the biggest message that came up for you in this week of Weekly Angel Guidance. And for all of you beautiful souls that join me yet again on the live chat, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so happy and grateful that you're here each and every week. It's an honor and a privilege to literally chat to you real time. So thank you, thank you so much for that. And if you feel that you may be a little bit impulsive and you feel like, oh, Mel, I just need help, please check out my free exclusive training. And remember, one-on-one -on -one online coaching program applications are open for a limited time, so please get in quick. Anyways, my love, I love you, I love you, I love you. Thank you so much for watching this week. And remember, don't wait for the confetti to fall. You know, this is all about the climb. All right, I love you, goodbye.